Hello. So in this video, I'm going to release a sample lecture from my Udemy course uh, on Angular and Firebase Authentication. It is about adding a reset password feature to your Angular apps using Firebase Authentication. Note that since this is just a part of the whole course, I'm going to leave out some of the details, but it will be a good general overview of how to add a password reset feature in the shortest possible time using Firebase Authentication. Now, if you want to check out the whole course, you can find the link in the description with a discount code. So you can get it on the lowest price on Udemy within the next five days. So without further ado, let's get on to the lecture. Okay, welcome to the section. In this section, we are going to add some nice to have features or bonus features, which are great nice to haves for um, any authentication app, but they're not really that critical. So in this one, we are going to add the reset password functionality. Now, why do we need that? Because users might need to reset their passwords in your app and Firebase provides some built-in functionality for this. So let's see how easy it is to integrate that with our signup app. So first of all, uh, let me explain the process a bit. So what we do is that Firebase sends an email for reset password to the email that has been registered here. And then in that email, there is a link on which you can click and then it takes you to a UI where it allows you to enter a new password and then you can come back and enter that new password and try logging in with that. So, but first, in which format would um, Firebase send that email? To change that formatting, we can go to our Firebase console here and we can go to our authentication section and the template section. Now you can see here that we have a section called password reset. And so this is the format in which we are going to send the email. You can edit this format. So I, for example, want to do the sender name as Zweb because I am sending the email. You can uh, specify a custom domain and the reply as well. And then this is the subject and the message that is going to be sent and you can change this. Now this app name is basically the name, public facing name of your Firebase application. We'll change this in just a bit. This URL is actually the default URL that they provide. And this is actually custom built uh, by um, Firebase. You can also customize this if you want some custom UI in your own app to handle this functionality. But in this one, we are just going to use the built-in functionality. So let's save this. Okay, so this has been changed. Now we're going to go back and change the application name so that it appears fine in our app. Otherwise, we're going to get that weird project dash number in our emails. So let's change this in project settings. And you will see here that you have a section of public settings. Here you can change the public facing name because this is going to appear in all the emails. So let's say I write website. And now this is going to appear in the password reset emails. Great. So everything is configured. Now let's get back to our app and add the forgot password feature here. So the first thing we need to do here is to add our Firebase function in our authentication service. So let's add this and call this password reset. This function takes in a string and the function that we are going to use is send password reset email from Angular Fire Auth. This will take in the Firebase Auth instance and the email that we got and the return type for this is promise word. So we are just going to give that here. Great. Now let's build the UI for this. So what we want is that since we are going to have a forgot password feature here, so we want the sign up to appear here now and forgot password to appear here so that everything looks good. So let's change the layout a bit. And what we're going to do is that we're going to change this new to our platform. And instead of this whole div, we're going to add a div calling it the login footer. We'll move our sign up inside of this and also we'll add a new one called forgot password we're gonna say this forgot password let's also change the wording a bit and let's say create account to make it more easier to understand what it does and we're gonna change this class to sign up great or let's just see how this looks now this doesn't look that good so we're gonna change this styling a bit let's add a new style which we call the login footer we're gonna make this flex and justify content space between great so we have some space in between we need a bit of margin or quite a bit of margin at the top good and then within this we will have the sign up so within this the sign up button we want it to be a bit larger in size than the forgot password button because we need to make it more obvious so let's keep it that and then for all of the a tags inside of the login footer we are going to do some styling to make it appear more like a clickable item we're going to make the text decoration as underline and the color as dark blue great so this looks good now the sign up functionality remains the same 
For forgot password, all we have to do is we have to add a click event handler. We're gonna call, we're gonna call this forgot password. Let's add the function here. Just below login, we are going to add forgot password. Now this will be an async function as before. Now for forgot password, we do need to have the email field entered. So we do need to check it apart from the login form. We don't need the password field. We just need the email. So what we're going to do is we are going to just extract the email from the login form and we will check if the email is false. So if the email is false, we want to make the error a bit more apparent because it might not have triggered the form's um, validation checks. So what we want to do is we just want to show a notification in case this is empty. So let's say that we write the error as please enter an email address and then we just return it in this case. But if the email is there, then we are going to add a try catch block as we do in all of our functions. In the try block, we are going to write this dot notifications dot show loading and then we are going to call our main function, which is this dot auth service dot password reset. We take in the email here and then we are going to give our notification dot success message. What do we write here? A good thing to write here is to be more explicit explicit about what has been done so password reset email has been sent please check your inbox great in the error we can have a firebase error so we are just going to use the same as we did in our previous implementation and in finally we are just going to hide the loading indicator great so i think we are done here great let's try this out so if you click on forgot password without entering anything it says please enter an email address and we need to close it so let's enter an email address and let's say that we have entered our email address and we have forgotten our password we don't know what our password is so we're going to click on forgot password it says password reset email has been sent and i think we need to have a duration in that sense so let's uh, increase the duration for the success here so that it is more apparent let's make this like five seconds okay and let's try this again so we're gonna do this is web at gmail.com and let's do forgot password again and it says password reset email has been sent please check your inbox great if now if i go to my inbox i can see that i have an email reset your password and it says for zweb site this is the latest one so i'm just going to click on this link here it takes me to a web page which it has generated automatically for us and it says that you can reset your password for this email address so let me give it a new password let me say testing one i can see this here then i click on save and it said you can now sign in with your new password i close this and I try to sign in with testing one and I log in and yes it logs in successfully as before everything else remains the same and if I try to log in with my previous password you can see that it should not allow me great so this is short and sweet a simple way to add a password reset functionality which can be a good addition to your authentication app I hope you liked this small sample of my Udemy course and if you like the style and the content you will also like the whole course itself so once again, the link for the course is in the description with the highest possible discount I could offer on Udemy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.